Hey everyone, Kelly Dean Allen here. Uh, well then, we finally got some brand new Pearl Jam after about four or five years of waiting. The track Dark Matter released just a couple of days ago, the title track from their forthcoming 12th studio album being released this coming April 19th, if I'm not mistaken. Let's learn how to play this absolute banger of a track, shall we? All right then, let's learn this one, Dark Matter by Pearl Jam. We are in standard tuning for this tutorial, and this one has a great heavy opening riff, really like this. So we're starting with an E power chord. We're going to hit this E power chord three times. Bah, 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 right, choking each one of them off. Bah, bah, bah. And then we're going to hit that E power chord three more times, but double timed. And then you're going to grab this second fret of the low E string, this F sharp note here, and then drop into a G power chord, which you're going to hit twice. Kind of like this. E, sharp G, G, and then you're going to move it into an A power chord, and then three more A power chords, then you're going to grab the sixth fret of the low E and slide out of it, kind of like this. Right? So that's the opening riff. That is the only time in this track that you're going to play that riff like that because every other time going forward, instead of going on to this F sharp, we're going to play this little lick. Third fret of the low E, moving it into five, on the six, and then grab the seven of the A string. Right? into G, finish the riff the same way. Right, so that's the first riff and the two riffs that you're going to play during the first verse. The first time you go through it, you're going to grab that F sharp after a couple of quick E's, right? Other time you're going to play that lick coming off these E's before going into G. And you repeat that twice for the first verse. Now leading into the pre chorus, we're going to hit that A and then we're going to play this lick. Five, six, seven. Down to five of the A, back to the seven of the low E. And then we're into the pre chorus. So we're going to go 5-4 of the D, 5-4 of the A with a mute before each one. Ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba. Right? Quick little mute before each note. Ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba. And then we're going to drop into a C power chord. And then you're going to drop onto these double stops here on the 12th fret of the D and the G string and then move it into 14 before repeating that, right? Ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba, in the C. Into the double stops and then repeat. Ba -ba, ba -ba, C. And then we're into the main riff again for the chorus. Doing that lick every time now. Repeat twice. And then leading into the second verse, we're just going to drop off to an E power chord, let it ring for like two bars. Right in the middle, we're going to play this lick. Right? And then back to E again for one more bar before dropping into the second verse. Second verse, same as the first, just playing that riff twice. Ba, ba, G, A. Into the second creek. 
course. In C. Double stops. In the C. Double stops. Into the second chorus. Repeating twice, right? And then we're into the bridge. Now the bridge. We're just playing these little triads. So we're starting with a little uh, C major triad here on the uh, the 10, 9, 8, right, of the D, G, and B. I'm gonna strum that about five times and then back it up one spot and choke it off. Right, then you're gonna move it up to a D major triad, 12, 11, 10. Do the exact same thing. Strum it four or five times, back it up one spot and choke it off. And you're gonna repeat that progression three times. And before leading into the solo, we're going to continue that, but we're going to move into an A major triad here. Do the exact same thing. Strum it four or five times. Back it up one spot. All right, seven, six, five. And then back it up to an F sharp major here. Four, uh, four, three, two. And then back it up one spot, right? And then we're back into the E's. Bam, bam, bam. And then we're kind of starting into the solo at this point. So he drops onto a double stop here on the 12s, D and G string, and then backs it up to the 9s on the D and the G and hangs in that for a bar or so. Like little mutes and whatnot, right? A big slide down the neck leads into the solo. So the solo. So that's pretty much the solo right there. So coming out of these double stops, right? Big slide down the neck. We start the solo with that. So we're pulling off 15 off to 12 of the B off to open seven times. And then the eighth time, you're going to drop onto that 15 right into a two-step bend, nice and slow. Way up there, right? You kind of want to get to about that note there. Into this lick. Into another two-step bend there. So, the little lick there after, the, after these, right? Big bend. That lick right there, just basically right up the pentatonic. Starting on the 12 of the high E, finishing on the 12 of the G. And after you drop onto that G, we're gonna drop into this uh, double stop bend here. 14 of the G, 15 of the B. You're gonna hit that like three times, right? And then you're gonna take that 14 and give it a two-step bend. Kind of like that, right? Then you're gonna kind of release that bend off to a trill at the second fret of the G. So kind of like this from the beginning of the solo. Right, and then we're into this. So uh, we're doing more pull-offs, five to three off to open of the high E. And then the same thing on the B string. You're gonna repeat that twice. Then you're gonna do another one on the B string. And then you're gonna do one on the G string from four to two to open. 
right into a bend on that second fret of the G. Right, so that's that lick right there. Then you're gonna take that bend, slide right into the 14 for a bend. Right into that little blues lick, right? Just uh, grabbing that 14 after the bend, and then just doing little trills between 12 and 15 of the B onto that 14. You're gonna repeat that like three times, right? And then you're gonna do a little scale run right up the pentatonic, finishing on the 12 of the A. Just right up the 12s and 14s, right? Finish the solo with this. So just 15 of the B, grabbing the 12 of the high E twice. Kind of like a unison bend, right? Then you're going to grab that 15, slide it into 17, down to 15 of the high E, back to the 17, and then you drop onto the 17 of the high E for two or three big full step bends, and that ends the solo. So from the beginning, nice and slow, coming out of those double stops. Slide. Big bend. Big bend, little trill. And then we're back into the E power chords again. Rhythm. Right, and uh, that just continues a couple of times until the end, but Mike McCready is doing unison bends along with that. Right, starting here on the 7-5 of the G and the B, moving it up two spots, up one spot, up two spots, now we're on the 12-10, right? Then we're going to drop down here to the B in the high E, 15, 12. Move it up two spots, up one spot, up two spots, right? Then we're going to back it up to the 15, 12 again. Skip the middle one, jump up three spots, up two spots, up two more spots. Now we're on the 22 and the 19. I'm just going to hang on that for a bit. And then one final little lick to finish the, uh, the song. Something like that, right? Just right in the pentatonic here. Just a little back and forth, 12, 15, back to 12. And then a little... Something like that to finish the track, right? A little back and forth, 14 of the D, 12 of the G. And then just right up the pentatonic, finishing on the 12 of the A, right? From these, right? on that 12 of the A, and that is the end of the track. So those are the unison bends. And that is the end of the track. And that is how you play Dark Matter by Pearl Jam. Certainly hope you enjoyed the tutorial, found it helpful. And if you did, please hit that like button right down there. Maybe drop me a subscribe if you haven't done that already, as that would be very kind and helpful to the growth of my channel. Hope you're well out there in your little guitar corner of the world, wherever that may find you. And we will see you next time. Cheers.